John here, guys, and today we're talking about Diatone's latest, the Mamba AIO F722. This is a really cool all-in-one whoop size board that goes up to 35 amps, has an F7 flight controller on board, and the most notable thing is that it has a little external USB port on here. That's right, sometimes when you put these things into Cinewhoops or other very small drone builds like this, getting to the USB port can be a little tricky, especially if it's all the way in the center under some ducts. Well, this gives you the option to run that mounted on the arm mounted on the edge of the frame so that it's always accessible without having to completely disassemble your drone. A really interesting and cool feature. It also is plug and play with a little harness on board to be able to get your DJI build built up super fast. Really exciting on this thing. So we've seen a lot of these AIO boards come up. This one can go all the way up to success, so it can handle pretty much any drone build that you want. And it has a couple of really nice features that set it apart. This external USB means that it is the perfect uh, complement to most of your type builds and your Cinewhoops. And the fact that it has DJI plug and play is gonna make your build a breeze. It has nice sized motor pads so that you can run this on a larger size motor like a 2207 um, and or a small size motor they're really making this top to bottom very accessible for you. It has the MPU 6000 gyro, the gyro that you want on board. It is BL Heli S and it even has a barometer for all of you would be weathermen aspiring meteorologists in the FPV community. So what do you think in the comments guys? Are you using these AIO root boards? This really includes a few extra features that are gonna keep your build small, light, easy to build up and uh, it just has everything in there. So if you're looking for something that is gonna be tight, you know, one of the things that I really didn't like about building up my Cinesplore or any of the other Cinewhoops I've built is that it's so difficult to get to that USB port if you ever need to change your settings. And especially on those quads where you really need them to fly smooth, being able to tune them after you fly them is kind of a requirement and that's always been a pain no more super fast building. What kind of builds are you guys doing lately? The trend is to go lighter and lighter and smaller and smaller. Um, so these boards are really gonna be the great option for most of your builds out there. I don't think I would trust this for a full-fledged 6S racing quad, but just about anything else that you're gonna be crashing less than that, even a full-size freestyle quad if you were gonna keep the weight low, I'd be fairly comfortable with this. Thanks guys.